Hey there, Adrian Rosebrock here from PyImageSearch.com, and today we're going to be talking about facial landmarks. Facial landmarks are typically a skill you learn directly after face detection. We've already covered face detection. You've learned how to perform face detection with hard cascades with OpenCV. You've learned how to use OpenCV's deep learning-based face detector. You've used DLibs, a hog face detector, and you've used DLibs, CNN-based face detector. But Consider what the face detector just gives you. It's the bounding box around the face. But what if you wanted to get more information than that? What if you wanted to extract the eye regions? Maybe you want to build a system that's detecting tired, drowsy drivers behind the wheel. And like if, they're, if their eyes close for too long, like an alarm rings, wakes the driver up, and it prevents car accidents. Maybe you want to build like a virtual like makeover system where people can uh, log on to a website and select different shades of makeup and eyeshadow and apply it to themselves. And, or for lipstick, you know, lipstick's another great example. Kind of see how different shades of lipstick looks on a person. There are all types of applications that require you to be able to extract and localize where each of the important facial structures are, such as your eyebrows, your eyes, your nose, your lips, and your chin and, and jaw region. But again, traditional face detection techniques aren't going to give you that. So what are you supposed to do in that example? What if you want to be able to create something like this, where you could identify you know, the eyebrow regions, you can identify where the eyes are, or the noses, the lips, the inner part of the lips, and the chin and jawline. Is that possible? And if it is, how hard is it to do? It turns out, if you use the DLib library, it's incredibly simple, and it's also very, very efficient. Davis King, the creator and chief maintainer of the DLib library, you know, one of the truthfully one of the smartest people I've I've ever met. I, I've had the privilege to know him over over the years running PyImage Search. He he spoke at PyImageConf a few years ago and just truly one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. He's implemented this paper, one millisecond face alignment with an ensemble of regression trees. This algorithm is actually implemented inside of the DLib library. And if I zoom in on the paper, you can see how accurate these results really are. So Davis took the technique inside this paper, modified it a bit, and then trained it on example data set of, of facial landmarks. So what we actually get is something like this. So here's an example image of the landmarks on the face. And as you can see, we're getting 68 points out of this. So it starts up here with the jaw line. So points one through 17 are your jaw, and you have 18 through 22 as your eyebrows, or your left eyebrow, 23 through 27 as your right eyebrow, and you have your eyes, your nose region, and then your lips as well. So these are the points that you're going to end up getting out of DLib. And then to show you what the output of it is, here's an example output image where we've performed face detection to localize my face in the image. And then once we have the face, we can apply facial landmarks and then get each of these individual points along the facial structure. And once you have each of the individual points, you can actually extract those facial features. So if you wanted to extract just the eye regions, you could do that. And in fact, that's what we're going to be covering in the next video guide here. So this tutorial will fundamentally just cover the, the detection of the facial landmarks and how face detection and facial landmarks work together. And then next week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into deeper detail. We're gonna go into to more depth of how do you actually extract each of these individual structures on the face.